Oh, no, no, no. what was I saying? I could chip off tower, but I kind of want to dedicate a whole different stream for like floor 47 and such. ZONL, nah, I'm saving ZONL for later. Again, I don't want to rush too much content before I take a break from the return mode, because this is probably going to be like the third or second last stream before I end things on returner mode for a while. The plan right now is probably just Jagando. I'm not really sure if there's anything else that I want to do. Oh, right, we get plat if we beat Aqua Realms. I completely forgot about that. Honestly, I kind of want to try using gas mask on Aku Moon because it has Raging Gory, but alas, we are lacking one fucking stone. <laughs> Two Great Shadows. All right, I wanted to show my clear on Two Great Shadows. I'm pretty sure you can basically finish Two Great Shadows with just like spamming Courier. But when I was doing Two Great Shadows, I set my mind to try to rush slot down before uh, the douche appears. It's not really practical because the slot is 200%. It's relatively tangy. I brought cat jobs in with me and Manic Dark. <laughs> Manic Dark usage, let's go. The plan was pretty much just, you know, lure him out and then rush it down with cat jobs. Um, uh, but the problem is, this guy deals so much damage to your base. It's a 200% Aku slot. It deals 34,000 damage for every hit, and it has 3 hit multi hit by using LD. Douche is already here, but the Omni Strike doesn't reach too far, and the damage, his damage isn't too crazy, so Can Can was still able to brute force it a little bit. So I just keep on spamming all those stuff, and there we go, slot is dead. <laughs> I know a lot of people have encountered 200% Wild Douches all the way from UL back then. But I have not actually played the new UL. So this is actually my first exposure to 200% Wild Doges. And it's scary. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking scary. Jesus Christ, this thing one-shots your Manic Eraser. <laughs> it's super scary. Holy shit. Wild Doges also have a tendency to slip into Courier's blind spot. That is also correct. Yep. Very, very scary enemy. <laughs> Let's just get into Chagando then. I'll just bring Fiend. Because I think Fiend is funny. <laughs> and I like Fiend. I absolutely don't need Rich Cat. But fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a calming ass song for this stage, huh? It's like we're defeating like the god that like spawns a legendary Lord of Ruin. It's like, yeah, pretty comfy music, pretty chill. We're just having a good time here, you know, nothing nothing crazy here. We're just having a good old time. Oh uh, yeah, uh this uh, Gory is absolutely getting shitted on right now. How many raging gories are there already, I wonder? Oh <laughs> the raging gory is starting to stop. Is it? Is this really it? There's no way. <laughs> Why can't we have Mawon as a unit? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you don't need every enemy to be a unit. I think Mawon's design uh, by by itself is already pretty good anyways. This attack animation is honestly like really sick. Also kind of surprised that he doesn't have a death surge. I feel like it's only appropriate for it to have a death surge, but oh well. Okay. Peace Mammon has been defeated by the Cat Army, but the return of the Lord of Ruin has not been stopped. Okay, let's get back to Jagando then. Okay, Mount Haku. Oh boy. I'm going to check my own video. <laughs> Past Lucas, what did you do here? God of Surge Immune? I already have God of Surge Immune, actually. It was one of the early things that I've gotten, actually, when I started Aku Realms, I immediately go, okay, I'm buying God of Surge Immune. <laughs> yeah, I might need to level my Manic Mohawk for it to tank a Jagando hit. I guess I need 27 then. All right, let's level you up to level 27. It's not 34. I think if I level Detroyer a little bit, I could brute force the shield faster, question mark. Okay, I guess we're bringing Detroyer. I could level you up a little bit. There we go, Detroyer. I think you're the first unit that I've upgraded to level 40. <laughs> so congratulations, Detroyer. Would KG help at least for the pangs? I think KG would help for the pangs, right? Oh boy, let's do this. Mount Aku? Here we go. Uh, wait, what should I start it with? I should have started with Aku Researcher immediately. Okay, start with Aku Researcher immediately, and then I... Should I use the Troyar right now? Why did I bring Can Can? Wait, why did I bring Can Can? I did not mean to bring Can Can. Oh, fuck. Okay, whatever. Whatever. It's time. Let's just spawn everything. Bringing Can Can is gonna be the death of me, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Shield break. Nice. What? You one-shot the Peng? What? Okay, very good. The Troyar, keep on doing your thing. Oh, what? It's already broken? Wow! That Troyar, what the hell? That's fast! I think he's gonna die here. Yep! Oh boy, the surge. Christmas, you you just gotta do what you can right now. Oh, nice! Nice, 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 nice. KG's doing pretty good work. Just gotta hope I kill the bear before the next bear. Oh, very good! Aqua Researcher breaks. Oh boy, here comes the next bear. Wait, who broke the shield? That's Jagando's shield, wasn't it? Yeah, that's not the bear's shield. Oh, I wonder if I should lure. I think I, I might I might need to lure. I might need to lure. Okay, good. They're synced up. Exactly what I want. 
Good. One bear down. Shield is broken. Jesus Christ, you broke the shield so fast. Last knock back on the Troyar. The Troyar just need to you to destroy the shield, and that's fine. There we go, it's dead. Okay, this stage takes 10 billion years to finish. But we do have KG. We do have KG. KG can actually make this faster. I guess we're fine. I guess we are fine now. Jesus, Detroyar, you are something else, you know that. Wait, I wonder, does Detroyar outrange Jagando's shot? No, I'd, I'd imagine no, right? There's no way. Detroyar outranged by 25. Wait, really? You only go to 450? Oh yeah, you do. So Detroyar can actually hit him. We are done here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Detroyar, you are definitely an, an unexpected uh, unit that, uh, to be like one of the my main used MVPs in the save file. Because I feel like when, when I got certain other units, a lot of people still kind of have split opinion on whether something's good or not. But when that when I got that Troy R, I feel like everyone on chat like immediately agrees like, yeah, this, this guy's shit. <laughs> now, Chun Chun Hunters, that one's actually shit. <laughs> that guy definitely actually needs to work done. <laughs> There we go. It's dead. Let's go. We got Jagando, boys. I remember when I make a when I make the guide for Jagando. This thing took like forty five minutes. <laughs> you shouldn't have doubted him. You shouldn't have doubted the Troyar. Is Jagando unit good? It's actually pretty good. It's like uh, comparing it to other legend cats. It's one of the best ones for sure. <laughs> Oh, nice! Can Can actually kills the bear. Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess bringing Can Can here wasn't wasn't gonna cost us our losing anyways. Oh my gosh, what is this copy pasta? <laughs> oh my gosh, is this UDP? Did you copy the UDP? Oh god. <laughs> All in all, Siege Walker Diabolosa is a unit with substandard base stats and plethora of weakness which is almost entirely eliminated in general usefulness, meaning hinders performance against its trade targets. There, uh, that said, its impressive range, coupled with high damage per hit and against three or more difficult traits in the game including being one of the few outcounters, counters means that the weakness can often be overlooked as its strengths shine through its right circumstances. Wait a second, this doesn't sound like UDP. What does the UDP say about Detroit R? Oh, it is actually from the UDP. Oh, because I actually thought UDP would shit on Detroit are really fast, but <laughs> the very first sentence is Mighty Detroit R is a super generalist. <laughs> Not to make fun of UDP too much, to be fair, again, I understand where the complaint comes from. His DPS is relatively low, but you know. <laughs> I think like, to be fair, the thing about like making a description project is that if you want to make a completely fair and full description for Ubers uh, and judgment for Ubers, it's going to take so, so long and you're going to have to go super in-depth on every single Uber and no one has the time for that. I understand that it's going to be simplified for a lot of times. Tierless is better? Oh hell no. I'm so glad they got rid of Tierless. Tierless makes the worst kind of conversation. I am glad that got uh, yeeted away from the rate of Discord. Not only it makes the worst conversation, it brings the worst in people and it makes the most useless conversations ever. Nothing good ever comes out from discussing Tierless. And so, the freshly awoken Lord of Ruin was once again sealed into the eternal slumber by the cats. Our ambitions and total domination of Aku Realms plotted for so long, all in vain. Another world ruled by the cats for the cats, uniting all planes of existence in one grand empire. That was the plan, but in the end, nothing really changed for the daily life among the Aku. The one big change is that now all Aku packs with mortal beings now includes a signing bonus of extra cat food, but it's none of my business now. The seals created by the Aku alters to drain life energy to the Dark Realms have all been dispelled. I too have lost everything. Here, this makes me go sad. I think like discussion on amongst Battle Cats players is cool and all, but like tier list makes like the most toxic discussion. <laughs> That's the thing. From the shadows, I watched the war between the cats and the Lord of Ruin unfold. Just before the Lord of Ruin was sent back to his eternal slumber, something came out of his mouth. It looked like the cats only took it back a souvenir, if only I could realize sooner just what it was. And so several days later, with my ambitions crushed, I returned to the mortal world for the first time in many years. Family, friends, gathered for dinners, and then a stroll among the smoking caldera. And somehow, I felt like I could find happiness in a simple life free of domination and destruction. I'll get you someday, Battle Cats. Also, thank you, Battle Cats. You think we'll get Aku Realm Shelter 2 and 3? Uh, maybe not. But I mean, I think it would be nice, but I'm not really sure how long it'll take, because like, current Aku Realms is such a really, really good concept, but yeah. So, if you haven't noticed, the game on top right now, uh, the name of the game that I put right now, 
you see that it says currently versus Piccolo Daimao. I mentioned that because when Jagando says that it's, uh, it lays an egg from its mouth and the cats took it and that egg becomes Jagando Jr. That is a reference to what happens to Piccolo Daimao on Dragon Ball where Piccolo Daimao spits out an egg before it dies and that egg grows up into Piccolo Jr. And Piccolo Jr. you know ends up being one of the main protagonists for a little bit before uh, in the Saiyan saga it ends up being the good guy instead. That's basically exactly what happens with Jagado and Jagado Jr. Um, on the other hand, I do believe like the whole thing about like Mamon uh, summoning Jagando and stuff like that and the whole design of Jagando is a whole other reference. Hold on, let me see. I think it's on the wiki actually. Let me take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. The design for Jagando is based off this guy. Uh, it seems most likely. Uh, and it's also, you can see that there, it says that it is summoned by the High Priest Hargan to completely eradicate the land of Thorium as well as Aragon, which is, you know, this is this is just Mawon. Yeah, that's, uh, this is for the design of Jagan, though. Fisher Mawon is also a Dragon Quest reference. Yeah, it's definitely from Hargon. There we go. All clear bonus, special cat Jagan Jr. unlocked. Uh, power of Aqua Others is no more. Your cat's plus level has been restored. There we go. And uh, let's roll plat ticket. Let's claim our two rewards. Our platinum tickets and our Jagando. This guy is such a cool ass unit. Like, not even just by usage. I think Jagando is just a really cool design in general. The enemy Jagando animation is so, so nice. I, sh I probably should have taken more attention to the animation of Jagando earlier because Jagando's animation is just so good. I really, really like Jagando's animation. Uh, both the enemy Jagando and the unit Jagando both has just like really sick animation. This shit's so cool. I really like this guy. Definitely one of my top in terms of like designs and animation. Yeah, that's it. We got we got nothing more, right? Okay, bye bye. Let's end the stream. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll the platinum ticket. Wow, stream has been going for one hour already. I thought it was going to be shorter, but I guess not. We only did like two stages. <laughs> we only did two stages and I've been here for like one hour and 20 minutes. Oh, and prediction too. Oh my gosh, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> oh God, I actually forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Precious channel points. <laughs> there we go. First down. Oh, it's almost 50 52. <laughs> That's a lot of points on the stakes, holy shit. Two stages, one hour. Man, usually I would make fun of Fregit for doing something like this, but now I'm also doing this as well. <laughs> Platinum ticket. Let's do this. Empress or Yami. Vars? Vars technically underrated, so you can use him. Oh boy, I think he's a little bit above average, but like just a little bit above average. Vars is pretty good, but I guess he, I guess I haven't seen much of Vars usage, huh? Isn't Vars a really good generalist? Okay, uh, <laughs> just in case, if you don't understand, the context is whether I should ban him or not, you know? <laughs> If I'm allowed to use him, I definitely will use him. The context that I'm contemplating is whether I should ban him or not. Who is the Vars? Okay, fine, I'll use him, I'll use him. <laughs> Vars is trash, everyone says it. Uh, definitely going to be a good anti-relic in the future too. I guess I'll end it here for now. Yeah, uh, we got Vars, we got Jagando. Next time on stream... Wow! That's perfect, holy shit!